really nice and crispy. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you something that's super easy and it only uses eggs and sugar. So for this recipe you'll need egg whites, sugar as your main ingredients and you can get lollies like I have so to decorate them and also lollipop sticks. Now make sure that the lollipop sticks are made out of paper and not plastic because they will need to go into the oven. For the main recipe, meringue, I've done a recipe video before, you can have a look at that as well if you like, but I'll go through all the steps again today because it's so simple. Now I do weigh my ingredients, so I weigh out the egg whites and I measure it the day before and I leave it overnight to reach room temperature. It helps to foam it up a little bit better. If I have 100 grams of egg whites, I'll throw in about 170 to 200 grams of sugar. It doesn't really matter as long as you don't go over double the amount of egg whites. The easiest amount, if you don't have a scale, is to use one egg white per quarter cup of sugar. So if you're going to do three egg whites, use three quarter cups of sugar. Once you've separated the eggs, you want to add the sugar. Have everything ready because the sugar does start to react with the egg whites and may create lumps. So as soon as you put in the sugar, start mixing. Now I'm going to put it over a double boiler, which means there's a pot of a little bit of water underneath to create some heat but doesn't go as hot as the fire on the stove. This way I'm going to dissolve the sugar into the egg whites quite slowly. So I mix this for around 3 minutes to 5 minutes. The optimal temperature you want to reach if you want to make sure that the egg whites are fully cooked is 71 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. If you do so then it's safe for pregnant women and little children to eat as well. If you don't have a thermometer, you just run the sugar between your fingertips. If you feel like the sugar grains are all gone, so you can't feel any sandy bits between your fingers, then you know that it's ready to be whisked. At this point, it's preferable if you have a mixer and you let it run on a whisking attachment until it cools down. Otherwise, you can do this with a hand mixer, but you'll be standing there for a good five to 10 minutes. Okay, once it's mixed, it should look really, really, really stiff, as in it holds its shape when you move it around. The tip of a meringue shouldn't be flopping down. That's called a soft pick, and we don't want that for this particular recipe. Now the fun part, you can add any food coloring you want at this stage. You can make it according to your theme. Uh, today we're gonna do a Christmas theme, so I've put in a little bit of red food coloring along the side of the bag. This is gonna help me make the candy cane look all nice and red and stripy. For the Christmas tree, I've used green food colouring and I've mixed it all up. So to stick the baking paper to the pan, I think you've seen me do this before, just add a little bit of meringue to each corner and squish it down and you can use it as glue. And then when you're piping, the baking paper won't lift as you create your design. I've used a piping tip that is normally used to make roses and you hold it with the wider side reaching the baking paper and the skinnier, thinner side uh, in the air so that it forms this beautiful Christmas tree shape. You can leave it just like this. I think they look really gorgeous the way they are. Or you can add m and and a little bit of fondant and they will go in the oven and it won't melt. It'll look really, really good when they come out.
So now I'm piping the Christmas wreath and I'm got kind of going like an up and down motion. You can practice this on a baking sheet on the side if you're not confident and you can, you can swipe it back into the bowl and back into the bag. If you're not in a hurry, you can leave this in the oven at 100 degrees Celsius for one and a half to two hours and you can leave the door closed and leave it overnight. This way, you're guaranteed that they'll dry up by morning and you'll have nice and crisp meringues. But if you have done this in, a, in the morning for an afternoon event, you can check that your meringues are ready by tapping them like so. If it sounds hollow, then it's cooked right through. If it sounds dense or it's still sticking to your parchment paper, then it's not done yet. Just leave it in there for another 15 minutes to half an hour. I hope you enjoyed making these. I love the fact that I get to pipe for ages and get to play around with different nozzle sizes and use all my sprinkles from my cupboard. If you come up with an interesting design, I would love to see it. Comment down below and send me a photo. I've also done another recipe that has Christmas trees and it's a lemon slice. That one is also very, very quick and easy to make because there's no baking involved at all. To check it out, just have a look at my channel. If you haven't already done so, don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the notifications so you can keep up with all my videos. Bye.